my rookie year and you know some opportunities where you know they could have called me up but you know they called up Joe McCray and called up Dante Jones and you know it just the, the situation never you know was right and uh, you know I got some other opportunities um, you know 10 day call ups and stuff and uh, but you know anytime I got to go up there I always got to learn you know um, I still have a great relationship with Bron and, and Jr. Tristan, all those guys. So, uh, you know, obviously John Holland was my roommate for two years. Ronnie Hood was my college roommate for two years. So, you know, I still root for those guys. But, uh, you know, uh, just never, you know, worked out with me uh, situations. And, uh, you know, I just got some opportunities elsewhere. Does it, um, is that something that fuel, fuels you? Like, or is this like some kind of... Like a vindication series for you? Nah. Or is that not how you look at it? Nah, man. Uh, you know, everything's happened for a reason. Uh, yeah. And my journey, you know, I had to go uh, through just, that. Uh, and, uh, I just, you I know, know, so it was never any hard feelings. I always root for those guys because, you know, I put in work with them. You know, mm -hmm. I know how much, you know, work those guys put in, how much they love this game. So it was never no hard feelings. No, this isn't like a redemption tour for me. Um, it's just, you know, the next team we got to play. And it's just more surreal that I'm really close with those guys. And, you know, my dad was from Cleveland, so all my family's there. And uh, What's his name? Ted. Ted. He passed away 10 years ago. I'm sorry so, you know, that's all good. But, you know, uh, I'm still close to my family there. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to playing. Uh, Did you have that moment where, you know, try to make the team in Cleveland didn't work out where you thought you wondered if you'd ever get to a point like where you are now. Say that again? Did, did you ever have that moment of doubt like when you're oh, Cleveland making the Cleveland? Oh uh, no, nah, I mean, not, not just Cleveland. I mean Cleveland wasn't the only team that could have called me up. You right. know, I didn't get called up by anybody my first year. So it wasn't just you know, it was just more motivation for me. Um, you know, I, don't, I must I must not have been, you know, ready to play at the NBA level at that time. So it was just more me, you know, just getting better, um, me proving myself um, you know that I'm an NBA player, and uh, I got some opportunities elsewhere. And uh, you know, I'm always be grateful for Cleveland because they gave me my first opportunity. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate good, it. Good yeah. to catch up. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about being on the stage. You know, how special is it for you? Uh, it's very special, surreal. Um, you know, you put in a lot of hard work to get to this point. Um, this is the ultimate stage in basketball. So, uh, you know, I just want to take it, you know, all in and, and stay ready to play. Can you talk about that moment you had after the trophy presentation with uh, Coach Kirk? Yeah, it was a great moment. Um, just, um, you know, we both lost our fathers at young ages, so you know, he 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 knows how tough it is, and he know, you know, how hard I work, you know, to get to this point. Um, and uh, you know, I just always wanted to be a great teammate and a, and a great pro. Um, always, you know, coming early, staying late, and he, you know, thanked me for that. Always just being ready, and uh, you know. We, you know, I broke down, and then Kevin was right there, and then obviously we've, you know, he's we've been friends for 15 years now, and uh, we had a great moment. And Steph, you know, we had a moment. So, you know, it was back-to-back -back moments where, you know, it was just my my emotions got, you know, the best of me. I was overwhelmed, and you know, I was just thankful, you know, just just to, you know, get to this opportunity. Not the first time I've actually seen Kerr give you a hug or put his arm around you. You must be really close with Kerr, Coach Kerr now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I think we're extremely close. Um, uh, he's a great coach, but, you know, he's he's more than a coach, you know, to us. And, uh, you know, he does a lot for us, and, uh, you know, we all appreciate him. So, you know, I think that's why, you know, he's so close to his players. That's really when I started to pay attention, and uh, fans have always been great back then, and uh, still carrying on today. Cool. Last question. Uh, uh, you know, when you hyper yourself up for the finals, like, you got any, like, Bay Area or Oakland artists that you have on your playlist? Uh, Do you know, nah. like, have anyone like that? Nah, you know, I mean, Coast? I like E40. Like, I like, I've always liked E40 fan uh, a little bit, but I like, I listen to like Kodak Black, Lil Dirt, you know, all that young stuff right now. Migos, stuff like that. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks. Thank you.